Yeah, hey, how's it going, Dermot? How are you? How are you? How are you, Emery? Good, good. Um, congratulations on the captaincy for tomorrow. When did you find out that that would be the case and how did you feel? Uh, I found out uh, the day after the game, I think. Richie pulled me aside for a chat and just said, I'm going to give you captaincy for this week. So, uh, yeah, it was a real honour. Like, it's a real privilege to captain the side. And, um, but it's, it's, it's good because I've got Gus on the bench and leaders like Sam and, and Evan and stuff like that in the squad that can help me drive drive the team as well so it's not it's not just not just on my own so have you leaned on a couple of those players like us who usually captains the side throughout the week to kind of bit of advice here and there uh well yeah like we have a, a quite tight-knit leadership group so we all kind of make those leadership decisions kind of on the same page and stuff like that and uh yeah no it's been quite it's been quite seamless i think but i hope it has been anyway good stuff um, how are the lads feeling in general? Is there a lot of excitement around the camp? Because there's a few people now kind of getting a chance to show what they can do and maybe put their hands up for a selection for a semi-final, hopefully. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people are, are ready to go. Like Richie was saying, we got a good couple of days rest. So I think the bodies are feeling fresh again and ready to go. I think we're looking forward to to change in venue. So it's another challenge and another team like Fiji, a team we don't, as an Irish side, we don't get to play often. So an opportunity to play against someone new and hopefully get a good result. Great stuff. Cheers, Dermot. Good luck tomorrow. Yep. Hi, Dermot. Michael here in RT Sport. How are you? Michael, how are you? Good, yeah. No, Richard was talking about the, the tragedy in Greece and you have some St. Michael's guys there. Were you specifically talking to any of them guys or and do you know if they were very close to the to the two, two deceased boys? Uh, yeah, like Richie was saying, obviously, a lot of lads in our squad would have known of the, the two boys. I think everyone's just kind of tried to get around the lads and just uh, make sure they're doing all right and just uh, just make sure you know they're kind of not they're they've been picked up and stuff like that. I think it's a it's obviously an awful tragedy and uh, we offer our condolences to the two families of the lads. And what have you seen from from Fiji that that you have to look out for specifically tomorrow? Uh, I think. They're a massive threat in terms of their running game as well. You see, they've got massive, big, powerful runners. I think Richie touched earlier on their seven. Uh, he's obviously a big threat over the ball. So for everyone on the team, it's it's massive that we we kind of we target him already, clear him out early, so we can get quick ball. It was gives us a good platform to to get points on the board. But I think they're like traditionally their offloading game is massive, and they can kind of run it from everywhere. So we need to be switched on at all times and um, make sure we don't concede any breakaway tries. Obviously. Sam Prendergast is a high-profile figure playing a pl couple of senior caps for Leinster and all that. Um, what do you see in Matthew? What, what gives you confidence he, he can just continue on in the same vein as Sam has been for the for the under twenties? Uh, Matty being from Leinster as well, I think him and Sam are very kind of play quite similarly in ways. Obviously under the likes of Mark and Richie, so I'm, I mean I think everyone's pretty comfortable that Matty's going to start in seamlessly. I think. Uh, you know we've trained well as a group during the week, and I think everyone's looking forward to seeing what the the new lads are they're going to do tomorrow. Brilliant. Best of luck tomorrow. Uh, Thank you.